I've been watching LEGO videos on YouTube now for 10 years, and in that time, I've seen many creators come and go. I've seen the rise of Just Too Good and Ashen Flash, as well as the fall of the Brick Queen and the death of the Brick Show channel. That being said, there's only a few LEGO YouTubers that I can think of that were popular 10 years ago and are still popular today. And one of them is David Hall, or better known as Solid Bricks Studios. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Solid Brick Studios, as I've only watched his reviews, mock showcases, and building series episodes every now and then over the last 10 years. But please, don't get that confused for a lack of respect. He's been at the top of the LEGO YouTube game for a decade now, and there are no signs of his growth slowing down anytime soon. In my opinion, David's ability to maintain his relevance and popularity after all these years is more impressive than him getting popular in the first place. It's one thing to get big on YouTube, but to stay relevant throughout numerous changes to the algorithm and to stay true to yourself while keeping up with new trends is a whole other stress most of us will never experience. Now that it's been established that Solid Brick Studios is one of, if not the most popular LEGO YouTuber with his decade at the top, it begs the question, how did he do it? Well, without further ado, I present to you The Rise of David Hall, the Solid Brick Studios story. Before David was Solid Brick Studios, he was LEGO Boy Productions slash Lego Boy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And before he began his YouTube journey under the Lego Boy moniker, he was just a normal fan of Lego. David started collecting Lego in 2004 when he was only 7 years old, and the first sets he ever collected were city sets, not Star Wars. Believe it or not, David wasn't a Star Wars fan in the early 2000s. He was scared of Star Wars, and it wasn't until 2007 or 2008 that he was introduced to Star Wars by a friend. Fortunately for David, his introduction to Star Wars lined up perfectly with the release of the LEGO Clone Wars sets, which were released on July 26th, 2008. David actually went to Toys R Us at midnight on the 26th, and it was there that he bought the entire first wave of Clone Wars sets. In addition, July 26th, 2008 was the day that he created his YouTube channel. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to explain how David got introduced to the LEGO YouTube scene in the first place. See, David's friend Tim introduced him to Forest Fire 101 with one of his LEGO Batman brick films. From there, David found Pizza Movies, who specialized in making Star Wars brick films that David loved. And through Pizza Movies, David discovered 2287 Sally, a YouTuber who had been reviewing LEGO sets since 2007. After watching these set reviews, David realized he could do the same. Thus, on July 26th, 2008, David created his YouTube channel, where he planned to review all of the Clone Wars sets he had picked up earlier that day. David originally wanted to go by the name LEGO Boy, but upon realizing the username had been taken, he decided to take the username LEGOBOY12345678, and he went by LEGO Boy Productions. Unfortunately, David's first video, a review of the 2008 ATTE Walker, wasn't released until October 9th, 2008. While David had recorded the video on July 26th, he wasn't sure how to upload the file onto his computer and then onto YouTube. Once his family got a Mac computer in the fall, though, David figured out how to upload files onto his computer and onto YouTube, and he had no more problems preventing him from releasing content. Hi, this is a review on LEGO 7675, or as we know it, LEGO ATTE. -T -T now here's a new little guy, Robba the Hutt. Woo -woo, woo -woo. He's sort of cute on camera, but he's not really. Here's a 3D view around it. Now, David's first couple months on YouTube saw him review some more LEGO Star Wars sets, along with some pizza movies-inspired brick films. In addition, viewers saw the first ever installment in November 2008 of what would become his annual Clone Army update series. David was inspired by Caleb10909 to show off his army, which was petite at the time. 
Just a month later though, David's clone army had already grown in size, as he had used all of his Christmas money to purchase 18 copies of the Clone Walker Battle Pack. Between December 2008 and January 2009, David saw his channel begin to grow in popularity. After being the first to review the Winter 2009 LEGO Star Wars wave, he went from 200 to 1,000 subscribers, and his channel had over 60,000 views. Over the next few years, David saw his channel grow exponentially as he continued uploading LEGO Star Wars videos. In terms of content, nothing really changed. Reviews, animations, mocks, and Clone Army updates were all still hallmarks of his channel. Over time though, his reviews went from unprofessional to professional. His mocks got a whole lot better, and his Clone Army, well, it got bigger. And as the quality of his content increased, so did the number of subscribers he had. By February 2010, David had 7,600 subscribers. By August 2010, he had just under 13,000 subscribers. And two new channels, Lego Boy Productions Alt and Lego Boy Productions Fan Club. In fall 2011, he created the Lego Boy Productions vlog channel, and by October 2011, he had 40 million views across his four channels, with 31,000 subscribers on his main. By the time I discovered David in summer 2012, he had over 37,000 subscribers and 26 million views on his main channel, making him one of the biggest LEGO YouTubers on the platform. Other than Forest Fire 101, he was probably the biggest LEGO YouTuber. He was bigger than the Brick Show, and he was bigger than the Brick Queen. I mean, he was popular. On October 9th, 2012, LEGO Boy Productions was renamed to Solid Bricks Studios. While the LEGO group didn't have an issue with David's YouTube username, they did have an issue with his website, which was legoboyproductions.com, as he started getting emails from lawyers about the name of the site. In addition, this is around the time that LEGO employees started to attend conventions more frequently, and whenever David would interact with employees at conventions like Brick Fair Virginia, they would always tell him that it wasn't the best idea to keep his current name. Finally, out of a list of 60 possible names, David eventually landed on Solid Bricks Studios. In addition to changing the name of his channel, David also changed the name of the custom LEGO minifigure business he had started earlier that year to Minifigs For You. Minifigs For You is David's side project, and it's still around to this day. It was one of, if not the first custom LEGO minifigure company to screen print on minifigures. Currently, Minifigs For You specializes in creating custom LEGO superhero and Star Wars minifigs. Fortunately, because of LEGO owning the rights to create LEGO sets and figures for these licenses, a loophole does exist for customizers. However, with licenses that LEGO does not work with, there is no loophole to prevent customizers from being sued. As after making some highly successful Legend of Korra custom minifigures, David was contacted by Nickelodeon's lawyers. By June 2013, David had 50,000 subscribers, and by October 2013, he was sitting at over 60,000 subs. His content was still more of the same at this point, but that was all about to change. Right before the new year, David introduced the first ever mock building series on YouTube, Building Kashyyyk. Hey everybody, my name is David Hall, and guys, you are watching a brand new segment here on the Solid Brick Studios main channel. Um, what we're gonna be doing over the next very long uh, period of weeks, uh, maybe 18 to 26 weeks, I don't really know, but we are actually going to be building, week by week, we are going to be building a Kashyyyk base. Kashyyyk, however, took much longer than 18 to 26 weeks, as after 53 episodes, David completed the mock in November 2015. David's Kashyyyk mock has gone down as one of the most impressive mocks in LEGO Star Wars history. And the finale and 4K showcase of this mock have a combined 5 million views on YouTube. As previously mentioned, this was the first ever mock building series on YouTube. Since then, the format has been adopted by plenty of creators, both big and small, like Chris Productions, Rich Boy J, and The Brick Wiz. Following the end of the Building Kashyyyk series, 
David uploaded his final Clone Army update video. This in-depth 41 minute video was posted on December 1st, 2015, and in it, David showed off his 5,248 clone troopers and 372 clone army vehicles. While David has done other army building videos since then, he has not done another complete clone army update video. Following the final Clone Army update video, David took some time to make some Force Awakens content. As an addition to reviewing all of the sets, he posted a Force Friday vlog, which surprisingly went viral, as it was his most popular video up until a couple of months ago. Throughout the mid-2010s, David's channel continued to grow, as he hit 100,000 subscribers in February 2015. By April 2017, David had over 200,000 subscribers on the Solid Bricks channel. Spring 2017 saw the release of the Building Scarif series. The next year, he returned with another Building series, Building Crate, which was completed in January 2019. Now, 2019 was a special year for David's channel as it saw him really branch out in terms of content. In May 2019, he released the A-Fall documentary, which saw him interview different fans of LEGO across the world. 2019 was also the year David joined the LEGO Ambassador Network. To be honest, I'm not sure if he was invited to join, as some larger creators are, or if he just filled out an application. But nevertheless, once David joined the LAN, he began to diversify his content. In addition to non-Star Wars set reviews, David started doing weekly LEGO build live streams, which really helped him engage with his fan base. Unfortunately, the streams have been on hiatus for the last four months, with no return in sight at the moment. David also started another building series in 2019, Building Mandalore, in celebration of the last season of The Clone Wars. In January 2020, David hit 300,000 subscribers, and in the summer, he completed his Siege of Mandalore Mock, a build which took him 11 months. David followed up 2020 with a successful 2021. As an addition to starting a Geonosis building series, he hit 400,000 subscribers in October. Two days after hitting 400k, David uploaded a video of his Daro mock from the Bad Batch TV show, which has now replaced his Force Friday vlog as his most popular video on the channel yet, with 6.5 million views. And this year, in 2022, David is on track to have one of his best years yet. He's coming up on 500,000 subscribers, and it truly feels like the sky is the limit once again. With his Geonosis series about to return, fans are excited to see another Solid Bricks building series, especially with all of the success David has been having as of late. Whether you like him or not, it's impossible to write off all of the success David all has had over the last 14 years as a LEGO YouTuber. From creating the mock building series format, to having the biggest clone army in history, and even launching his own custom minifigure company, which is still around today, David has done a lot. And what's so impressive is that he's only 25 years old. 2022 looks to be his biggest year yet in terms of subscriber growth. And it's inspiring to see that David is continuing to evolve his content every single day. He isn't complacent. And I truly believe that the sky is the limit for the success the Solid Brick Studios brand will have in the coming years. Let me know down below what you think David Hall's biggest accomplishment is as a LEGO YouTuber. Could be his clone army, his building series, his success with subscribers, anything. I'm curious to see what fact slash story resonated with all of you. If any of you know David, please feel free to send this video his way. I don't think anyone has made a Solid Brick Studios documentary, which is unfortunate, as it's long overdue. Please put some suggestions in the comments section down below for which LEGO creators you'd like to see me cover next. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next week. Goodbye.